This is higher expectations. This is a shuffle effect that we have seen Ali Abdal do. This has been requested by our Discord community, and I thought, well, let's go ahead and start a series. We're just doing effects. So let's go ahead and jump in. So from the looks of it, there's already three things we want to take note of. The letters are scaling up, they're rotating, and the position is moving. So those are three. Now, what else is it doing? It goes into the stop motion, what we're familiar with, the turbulent displace, with posterized time added. And then it also makes a lateral move up. So it goes up as well. All right, let's go ahead and walk through all of that. Let's do a new composition. I'm going to do control end. And then I'm going to hit the social media preset portrait for 9 by 16. That's good with me. And I'm going to change the duration to 5 seconds. So if it's not there, I would change it there. Click OK. All right, so before we touch anything, let's make sure that our character panel is open as well as our align. And you can find that from window, align, and character. OK, since those are open, let's find Nitty Typewriter. And we're going to use the Cameo font style. This is available in the description below. Adobe has it, enable them. It is a fantastic and stylish text that we will be using. And we're gonna change the font size to 115. We're gonna change the leading to 165 and our tracking to 115. Lastly, make sure that all caps is selected by hitting those two T's. So we can click our text icon or do control T. And let's start typing out higher, hit enter expectations. Okay, I'm going to hit my line, horizontal, and vertical. And there it is. We're going to go to our text layer and do Control D. That's going to make another text layer. I'm going to drag the front end to the one second mark. And I'm going to take the second text layer and I'm going to drag this one frame past the one second mark. So if you want to get more precise, I'm going to go to that one frame after and that should be good. Now let's open up that text layer and we're going to hit this animate play button and let's go ahead and find those three parameters that we listed. So we had position and we have this animator one pop up with our position. We're gonna hit add property, rotation, add one more property and that is going to be scale. Okay, let's open up our range selector, advanced and then we are going to change in the shape Drop down, we're gonna do ramp up. For the ease low, we're gonna do 100%. For the random order, we're gonna turn it on. And then we are gonna make some keyframes. So the first keyframe we'll make is rotation. Let's hit our stopwatch, keep it at zero. Let's go to the one second mark. And let's go ahead and make eight rotations for that first parameter. So it should look a little bit crazy, all right? So now we have to go and make another keyframe. So let's go to the very front, go to offset, create that keyframe, do negative 100. Then let's go back to that one second mark and we're gonna make the offset be 100. So negative 100 for that first keyframe and then 100. Now for the scale, let's go ahead and do that to zero. And then for the position, I usually like to go into kind of the middle of these two keyframes. I will go to position to the vertical parameter and drag it down. Then I'll get kind of closer to the beginning to make sure they're kind of off screen when they start off. Maybe like close to a thousand, something like that. So where they're all coming in. So there it is. That is the effect in its glory. So I have a preset for Ollie that I made and you are welcome to download that as well. This is my gift to you. Now, if I go to my effects presets, user presets, and I have the turbulent and posterized time, I'm just gonna drag it on this second text layer. So when that animation comes in, everything is good to go because it completes its animation and then it's already on with that turbulent displace. So from here, I would not make a null object or an adjustment layer to move keyframes or use a transform because since posterized time is a part of the uh, effect stack of this, it's going to affect the position keyframe when we move this up. So what I would do is select both of them and we're going to right click and we're going to pre-compose. Go ahead and make a pre-comp. And now I would go in here, open it up, open up that transform, have the animation play through, turbulent displace is happening. And around the two second mark or three second mark, I'm gonna go ahead and make that change. So for this example, I'm gonna do it at two seconds. We're gonna hit position, hit that keyframe, and then I'll go to the three second mark, and I'm just gonna drag it up. 
So we have this nice linear animation happen. All right, I need it to be a little bit faster. Let me go ahead and scoot this in. And then I'm going to click and drag this box so I can select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant. I'm gonna do easy ease for both of them. And this makes it a lot smoother. It ramps up, has a little bit of velocity. And there it is. So that is higher expectations. I hope you like it. We have more effects in our course right now, and I'm going to be dedicating a lot of time. And I'm just going to be doing all Ali Abdal stuff for the next few months because I think it has not only elevated our community, but it's made me such a better editor for my clients and for myself. And I think practicing and trying to replicate his editor's style has been the most rewarding. And me trying to teach all of our students and our audience that has done a lot for us. So I'm gonna just keep going down that route. I'm gonna be covering a lot of different shorts for Molly. And then I also threw in some stuff from Alex Ramosi. His is a little bit more basic in terms of what he does for his long-term videos, but those are available in the course for you to watch and practice. So that being said, I'll see y'all very soon. Thanks for tuning in.